cults, French groups that have obscure beliefs, origin, views, and opinions of the world that confront traditional organized religion. How do groups we call cults become closed clusters of abuse, distraction, destruction, and neglect? And how can we detect if we or someone we know are or have become cult members? Welcome to Four Seas One Family. Group gatherings can be fun and inspiring, while at the same time fostering a sense of togetherness and pride. However, on many occasions, group gatherings have come under the control of charismatic personalities who have control of leadership and refocused attention on obsessive goals that became harmful and uncontrollable. Danger arises when group members' blind belief in their leadership retards their critical thinking skills and turns the group into a cult. People facing or who are in difficult financial, spiritual, or social situations often feel that they are living useless lives and become disillusioned. They may think that all the work they have put into making their lives worth living is lost. They begin to search for reasons that can explain their situation. And this is when many of them become vulnerable to almost any interpretation that is, or at least appears, logical. This is when charismatic individuals swoop down like angels from above to help the downtrodden and oppressed to guide them to freedom and happiness. This is just when a charismatic individual makes an appearance often out of nowhere with a demeanor that represents righteous goals or godlike. Influential personalities are held in high regard and looked up to, so what they do or say becomes regarded as holy and isn't thoroughly questioned or opposed because they influence people looking for personal or spiritual enlightenment. Cult leaders offer straightforward solutions for universal problems people are facing or concerned about. The truth is, no simple solution can solve complex social, financial, political, and medical issues that may have been festering in people's lives for a long, long time. People face problems that are deeply rooted in a combination of unrelated issues. And many of the problems people face include, but are not limited to, the ones already mentioned, but may also include substance and domestic abuse. Those working to build a cult following present their solution as the only way to entirely correct, adjust, or realign society. They frantically offer their solution as the only antidote for the issues the targeted person or parties face. And they often redefine their solution and give it a new and appealing name. Building a cult following requires tactfully implementing many of the same strategies and techniques used in marketing, public relations, and sales. Those building a cult following also love bomb those willing to listen while simultaneously exacerbating their fears. They persistently propagate and say that they are directly connected to a superior intelligence that gave them the responsibility to guide the selected or the chosen ones who subscribe to their belief. Creative cult followers use the same techniques to enhance public awareness and acceptance by advertising and marketing firms, political parties, event promoters, new age societies, and even groups that promote dieting and nutrition preferences. One interesting thing to mention is that most people think cults are only comprised of misguided religious groups and delusional individuals. This isn't the case. Surprisingly, many cult members are well-educated and of various races and backgrounds. Members with strong academic backgrounds are valuable to cults and often trained to recruit new members. And because of this, tactful or diplomatic cult leaders often present or refer to a document or manifesto that confirms what they are prescribing is accurate 
and those who concur will soon be rewarded, which creates a false illusion of hope. Cult leaders further indoctrinate those they influence by proclaiming that their solution is the only way to defeat the causes oppressing them, while redirecting their attention away from topics and events the leader would rather keep hidden by disallowing opposing views and opinions. In other words, members aren't permitted to question or criticize the leader who is most likely feared or the ideas and goals the cult is built upon because they are symbols that confirm the group's irrefutable beliefs and must never be contested. Opposing views, especially those based on critical thinking and regardless of proof or evidence, are considered blasphemy. Cognitive dissidence takes over those aligned with the cult's beliefs and blocks any self-analyzing attempts. It becomes impossible for them to admit that something they had vested so much time in believing is flawed or simply evil. This proves that when applied aggressively, manipulation can be a powerful and persuasive tool. Those who dare criticize the leader, leadership, or articles of the cult are suppressed or permanently banished from the group. Cult members are often strictly prohibited from keeping journals, contacting banned individuals, or consuming content that contradict their group's beliefs. Those opposing leadership or cult beliefs may also face corporal punishment. In the United States, cults have the luxury of declaring their groups and beliefs as religious in origin. This is how they hide behind the First Amendment that protects freedom of choice and religion. This is how nefarious domestic and international forces use legal protections in the United States to protect themselves and further disrupt the nation's educational, financial, social, and political institutions. Cult leaders use their doctrine and rhetoric to brainwash followers by overemphasizing that their problems are because of external influences and never because of their own mistakes or deficiencies. Before we conclude this discussion, I would like to ask you a few questions. Mention a group or organization you think is or like a cult and why. Besides the reasons previously mentioned, what do you think are some reasons people join cults? What would you do if you discovered that you ended up in a cult? And why would you stay in or get out? If you found out someone you cared about is in a cult, would you try to help them get out or would you leave them alone? What legitimate concerns would cause someone to want to become a cult leader? It shouldn't be forgotten that in the past, cults have been involved in occurrences that place their followers in precarious situations that can only be described as horrific. In hindsight, cult leaders are narcissistic con artists who benefit unselfishly from their followers' blind faith, finances, and work. What I've just directly or implicitly referenced doesn't cover all the possible reasons for causes that explain how cults are created and why people join and stay in cults. Charismatic cult leaders, aggressive persuasion and rhetoric can easily overwhelm almost anyone to become a cult member. I hope what little information I presented can help someone who may be unaware of what a cult is in a cult or thinking about joining a cult. If you have found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up to date with our current episodes. And if you're listening to our podcast, please subscribe and help us spread the word that we have much more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. Before she is one family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world.